Hello, I'm Rick Steiner. Welcome to Lux Life Discovered. Our guest today is Haley Boudreaux with Xanadu Supply Company. So Haley, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so tell people what Xanadu actually is. So Xanadu by definition is, it means a dream world. So our brand mission is to inspire and empower people to create their own dream world through the experiences and the products that we create. Okay, and then what all products do you have? It's all fitness related. So right now we are fitness and streetwear related and we are eventually going to expand into other avenues. But yeah, right now we are streetwear and fitness all around. Okay, good deal. So how did this dream, how did this evolve? Um, honestly, I've been through just a lot in my life to kind of put it in a nutshell. But during those harder times, just kind of thinking about where I would want to be and what my own dream world or Xanadu would look like. And um, this is what it looks like. So now I just feel like my mission is to inspire and empower people to be able to do the same. Okay. And for those who don't know, we'll, we're going to cover your little background just a little bit <laughs> with your, your, um, a wreck you were in and how did yeah. that transform your whole life? Um, aside from physically, now my spine <laughs> is made of metal. And um, I spent about a month in a trauma center. But um, aside from that, it just kind of really taught me the meaning of resilience and more so the meaning of being able to block out the noise and do exactly what you know that you're capable of doing instead of listening to the boundaries and uh, limitations that people will put on you. Right. And they will do it. And usually, and I've always said this from as long as I can remember saying it, is that your biggest critics will always be those who have never had the, well, I'll say it nicely, have never had the guts to step outside their own comfort zone. Amen. Amen. And truly, I think that experience really just kind of honed in on that life lesson. Just, you know, without a doubt, speaking of, you know, just even the fitness aspect of my business, there were so many doctors and just people in general that definitely said after the amount of injuries and the spinal fusion that I would not be able to do certain things. And not only am I doing them now, but doing them with ease. So I just feel wow. like that's a, a life message that you can push past boundaries and you can do a lot of things that maybe people say you can't. Well, that's true. And you are a good example. I wish we had a, a graph that we could show the your hardware in your back. Because I'm, might, it's, might make people pass out a little. <laughs> that's true, but <laughs> it is impressive because they had to do such extensive work when they when you when that happened. But um, that, they didn't think you'd ever be in the gym at this point, did they? No, they actually, um, you know, minimal working out, you know, and physical therapy was kind of what I was, you know, told to do. But definitely not strength training, and definitely not doing anything that I was doing in the past. But not only am I doing that, I've, I'm doing that times 10. So it is, it's not only been a blessing to be able to do that, but I feel like it has healed so many different parts of my life being able to push past those limits. Right. And that's also carried over into your, what you're doing with your company as well, because a exactly you're transforming people's lives, not just with, you know, street wear and gym wear, but you're also helping people transform their lives from the inside out as well. Amen. That's that's exactly the the mission and the the goal itself for sure. So, what all products do you offer with the with the gym part of it? Or yeah, so I actually both? got a couple next to me just in case you were to ask that. Okay. So right. right now I've got things like barbell pads, cable straps, okay. and um, even a pair of resistance bands. It's going to be our best seller. Comes in the light, medium, and heavy with this really cute carry bag with our logo and everything. All right. And so there's. A bunch of different accessories right now that just make your gym life easier, whether it be outfits or accessories. Okay, and then you ship all over the U.S., correct? We do. We okay. actually ship internationally as well. You can place your order online, and we'll ship it out the moment we get it. All right, great, great. So what do you, what do you so your best seller has been the uh, the bands, or what do you think? So, so far, yeah, our best seller right this moment is actually the resistance bands, which is going to be comes in the set of three. I don't know if you can really see it good on camera, but it comes in the set of three here and it's a light, medium and heavy. And it also comes with a carry bag, but you just, you can use it for multiple different workouts. It 
adds resistance, adds a little bit of difficulty, and just really makes the capability of your workouts go up. Okay. And then you have models that you work with and influencers to help promote I your do. products? Actually, that's um, a thing that I actually just implemented is bringing on ambassadors. So we did, um, well, I guess I should say, I always say we, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a we because I got so many different hats on. <laughs> but um, I, right now I just uh, actually put out a model search and then we had over a hundred people respond back. And of those hundred people right now, I've dwindled it down to 30, not to say if anybody else is watching out of that hundred, not to say you won't be chosen because you will, <laughs> but the, <laughs> there's a 30 right now that I'm using for brand videos and all types of ads and different events, whether it be pop-up shops or any other event that we put together so they can have opportunities to advertise for us and opportunities to kind of get their own name out there on different other platforms. Okay. Of course, we'll have your, your website up at the end of the podcast. But you're you're doing pop up shops. Where are you doing just locally, or will you go wherever so the market is? So right now demands? it's been, yeah. Right now it has been locally. Um, I kind of had to get my feet in the water a little bit with that and get out of my nerves with that. But now <laughs> um, I've done quite a few events, and I'm gonna actually expand this summer to hopefully doing a couple out of town events. Now that we've got the ambassadors in place, it'll be easier for me to not just be a one man show and sure. and popping up at all these different places. So. Look, look out for us at gyms or any big event that you can think of. All right. And where are your ambassadors located? Are they in a particular area of the U.S. or you have them go all over the There's country? There's all over the country, which is also our goal with that is to get our name out there a little bit sure. everywhere and get the family bigger and bigger. So you may have to do like a month where you do like a, just a travel month to go to different cities, different locations, pop up shops to um Eat that's that's the ultimate goal is to be at traveling and then eventually to be able to actually get our ambassadors together all in one place and and do wellness retreats and things of that nature so so what would be your ultimate goal with your company i know it's already started you've reached so many goals and milestones that you've accomplished what would be like the ultimate dream i think the ultimate dream is to take the mission further than just online. And I'd like to open not only one, but multiple storefronts in the multiple different avenues of the Xanadu brand. So whether it be beauty bars or gyms themselves or clothing stores, I want it all to be under the Xanadu experience and really provide our customers with that feel and experience in a bunch of different ways and visions okay good good so um and then you are also back to doing what didn't think would be possible you're preparing for a competition coming up right <laughs> yeah actually i guess that's um my boyfriend's a little to blame for that uh, <laughs> it's like maybe he had something to do to with it that. yeah of course yeah, you know it's, he... it's payback for telling him he should do it that's hey, that's where you started amen. yeah Amen. He kind of turned me on to the whole bodybuilding world. I was already a fitness fanatic, obviously, and personal trainer and all that. But after seeing him compete, then I guess now this summer is about to be my turn. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> well, and he jumped in big time. He went in the deep end. So, yeah. 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 He, he jumped in as a rookie and came out with his pro card all in one season. So Right. I've got a little bit to live up to if I decide to do it. <laughs> well, great motivation. And he's, and he's not going to let you slack up. You know that. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly. So if you That's wanna, really if my you, main motivator yeah, right Yeah, if there. you're going to slack, you have to like get him out of town or get away from him for a little bit so you can like, he won't know. Yeah. Well, that's what I've told him. His last year was his spotlight. And now he just has to be ready for me to take over and his name not to be mentioned. <laughs> how, how well do you think that's going to go? Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> you just can't be mentioned at home. Of every flyer, yeah. we'll see about that. Right. Everything that's promoted on that whole event, it's him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. We'll see. Well, good, good. So um, now do you have tank tops? You have leggings? I have tank, tank tops, leggings, sports bras, hoodies. We've got actually some uh, really cute like rib top sets and joggers everything that you can name and then some, and we are always, always, always looking and taking any request from our customer line. 
we like to hear what people want to see and what they don't want to see, even if we don't want to yeah. hear it. But that's how we kind of get our, <laughs> right. get our curated you learn. collections yeah. together. So, well, good. And do you do any like personal customized options for your? I do clients? actually. And so, any businesses that are looking to get their logo thrown on anything, I also offer that service as well. Whether it's a keychain, a cup, t shirt, anything you can think of that you want to promote your business with. I can also offer a printing service for that. So that's the other half of the business as well. Okay. And you also do some neat mugs and tumblers yeah. that yeah. you can do I as do well. I do custom tumblers. We can throw pictures and names on any item you can think of too. So I love to customize and, and really bring to life uh, somebody's artistic vision for an item. All right. Good, good. So um, what... How, how has Emmanuel played a big part in your, who's your boyfriend? How has he mm -hmm. played a big part in what you're doing? Honestly, just he as well has been somebody in his own life that has pushed past limitations and boundaries. So I think just us kind of bringing that knowledge and same vision together. Now he's pushed me to have the confidence to be able to even do things like this and sit on a podcast. And, you know, he knows me to, I'm more of a hermit and like to kind of <laughs> keep to myself and work, work, work. So I think his social side is um, definitely a benefit for me. Yeah. Well, and that helps. And you kind of blend your two personalities and it, it makes it really well. Yeah. Amen. Well, he gets my smarts and I get his talking. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but of course, if you're random, you think he's really quiet, but. Yeah, then, yeah. Then then you get until to know we him. get home. Yeah. <laughs> so what um what do you think the greatest message is that you would have to other ladies that want to compete who are maybe going through different adversities in their life, think they can't do it, or it's past they're past their point of being able to do it? What what is your philosophy on that? Um, you know, I just think no matter where you are in life, I think the most important thing to truly, truly remember is that you can do anything. You can be anything. You can do anything. It doesn't matter if you failed a million times. There's always tomorrow and you can always get back up and completely rewrite your story. So it doesn't matter. Like I said, what name you feel like you've created for yourself up until this point, there is always a redo button and you can always still make whatever life you want to happen, happen. So just wake up and push it all aside. Don't listen to the noise and make it happen for yourself. That's true. That's good points. Yeah. So with your, with your company, when did you, at what point when you were starting this, did it click that, oh my gosh, this is really going to, this is legit. I mean, not that you didn't think it was, well, you know what I'm saying though? That, no, ex that moment, I know exactly. Yeah. I think honestly, I think the first mission was to create my own dream world, whatever that meant and then the mission became so much more clear in the sense of it was less about creating my dream world but more about inspiring and empowering other people to know that they can also do that for themselves and so i think that that the mission kind of changed but has become more powerful right that's a good point too and it, it's yeah. fun when you do things you have your your vision of what you want to accomplish, but then you learn and grow. And it, it just, it just grows makes it, into yeah. something so different. Like everybody, when I first started, would always say, you know, your business is your baby. And, and I understood that to a certain extent, but now it, it is, it grows like a human into just different forms and personalities. And at first, truly, it was an only customization business where I made custom items for businesses and, you know, kind of did things here and there, but I didn't understand what it meant to create a, a full brand and what the legwork was behind that. And so I also didn't understand where it would take me three, four years from then. And now it's just kind of grown into what it is now, which is so different from day one. So looking back to when you first started to where you are now, would you have been scared to death to think, oh my gosh? Or Yeah. Because the way I want to yeah. approach so many things, it's like I just go into it. And then later it's like, God, if I'd ever really thought about this, I'd have been freaked out and scared to do it. You know, but sometimes. Yeah, sometimes still I'll sit in my office or just look at products. And I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll just cry and just think, wow, <laughs> it is so crazy to think that really you can dream up something and then have it sitting right in front of you. Yeah. And just, you know, the, that reality is such a cool thing. Right, right. It's such a good reward for what you knew it could happen 
And then when you, well, when you see it happening, it's not that you ever doubt it's, it. It's just it's like a, it's a whole it's different. A, the visual is a totally different yeah, feeling. Exactly. Definitely. So um, what are your, your immediate plans with the company? I know you've got so the long-term plans, goals, but. Yeah, immediate plans would be, um, first, we are actually looking, oh, well, I'm looking at a storefront to do a streetwear and fitness style boutique. And top secret, me and Emmanuel might be looking at a couple options for some training um, facilities, but okay. we're just, we're, we're going to um, really push for that. And maybe it'll all be under one roof. I was going to say, it'd be nice to have it all together. Yeah. I, that's what I, that's exactly what I said. And so you know we'll, what, we'll, and what's going to happen is he's going to want to start his own brand. Uh, well, you know, I'm, I'm just making him part of the Xanadu family. So. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> just incorporate it all together. Yeah. yeah there so he is. can be my assistant. That's, right. <laughs> that's going to go over well. Yeah, yeah exactly. But, my um, assistant, my head of security. Yeah, the, true. Because he could do that for sure. He, he's, he's a great bouncer for sure. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah, people definitely scurry when he walks through. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess so. So, um, oh my goodness, I lost my train of thought. The... Uh, <laughs> The streetwear. So mm -hmm. now, is the streetwear? Are you considering the joggers and all that part of your streetwear, or you know, that's kind of those are kind of um, what I like to call my hybrids. You know, you can wear those into the gym, out of the gym, and I've also seen people throw a pair of heels on with them and wear them for a night out. So it's that's another great thing, and part of my mission with all of my collection is to make it so versatile that you can mix and match and don't feel the need to only wear it one time with one outfit. Right. Change it you know? up, and, and dress think, it up, dress that, it down. That, another cool yeah. part of it has been also the creation process. I had, I have not been to business school and I also have not been to fashion design school, but teaching myself all of this and learning how to create a product from step one until, like I said, it's right in front of your face has been a crazy adventure, but a really, really cool adventure too. So you've also had to experience the whole process of like buying from different countries, buying from different yeah. businesses, and then yeah, incorporating and it together. The, uh, yeah, and even the, let me show you this product here. All of them, um, I've had to myself find actually what it even meant to have a manufacturer or to what it meant to have a supplier and actually watch YouTube videos until no end to Thank figure all this YouTube, out. Yeah. And, you know, hey, man, you can you can learn anything. And so then for certain products, even like our bodysuit here, I started out with just a drawing with pencil on paper and sent it to a couple of different manufacturers, figured out which one is the best one. And from overseas, they completely curated my product. And now we have it available in the store. All right. So how did you even know to do that part? Like, how did you know where to send it? Because I mean, that's that's a big step because you're. Trusting Hon someone honest, else to bring your vision to life. And and truly, from a U YouTube videos, I am known, and Emmanuel can tell you too, but especially a few years ago, I spent countless just nights on nights on nights just drowning myself in every bit of information that I could find. It was like, uh, you know, just reality TV. That I was like watching all this stuff on <laughs> how to create this. And I'd have another idea, and I'd watch another video. and Finally, all of it just started making more sense to me in a doable aspect. And so I reached out to a, a manufacturer first and then even had to watch a YouTube video on how to correctly communicate with those people and how to, you know, put certain lingo in there to make sure you're getting a, a good deal and all these kind of things. And wow. so just over time, I learned to trust myself really more than anything, because at any given moment, I definitely and still do have that like, oh, like I don't know if this is right <laughs> type of feeling. You know, and, and so it's just really about trusting yourself and just going for it. And so, I mean, pulling that trigger sometimes is a good thing. True. So what was your biggest fear going into this and then your biggest um, reward? My biggest fear was that everybody was going to laugh and walk away <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. type, type of thing. And um, but then I feel like, you know, with all the other stuff I've just been through through life, it's I had to remind myself, like, that's the least of your worries. Sure. You know, if you believe something so wholeheartedly, then other people will, too. So just continue in your mission. And now I just want and know that all the pressure is on me to get it to where I know it can go. So just continuing that push is the main thing right now. Well, you've done well because it's, it's still going. It's going strong. And 
Thank it's you. awesome that you're adding your ambassador program because that's a huge step and Amen. that's going to be such a great promotion for every aspect of your business. So Thank you. All right, then what's your biggest reward to, this, to date? I know we've got a lot of things that will come up that will be better and more rewarding, but so far. Um, I think my biggest reward was actually and has been um, when I did the initial model search for the ambassador program on the application, they had to put why they were applying and not only seeing hundreds of applications come in in general was like flooring to me that something I created this many people wanted to be a part of, but then to flip it and read the actual questionnaire part of it and to read what people viewed me as and that their inspiration for wanting to join the brand was through me or through something that my brand had done for their life which is the entire goal so just being able to read those and like actually verify that what i'm doing is working and in a sense right. was Starting just so yeah it was just such a cool confirmation to see that in writing well, that would be yeah yeah and you know, that also challenges you and motivates you even more so a amen yeah. it just exactly every time i see stuff like that it's it turns you up completely away from the burnout you know, thoughts and just motivates you like no other to create more and more for these people that have been following you since day one. Right, right. So um, are you all geared toward women right now, right? So are actually, I've got all of my joggers are unisex stuff. All okay. of my hoodies and stuff are unisex stuff. We are about to this summer, another um, secret drop, I guess I'll, I'll <laughs> reveal on here is that my men's stuff, will be available this summer. So we're going to okay. hopefully be expanding fully into kids and men's really, really soon. So the model search was mainly for women at this point. So you'll do a male model and we, search. I did have a lot of male applicants, but just really? none have uh, reached the public yet. So Okay. We'll All right. So yeah. a lot of surprises ahead. So that's yes, good. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Well, good. So um, we're going to put your information up for your for your website and your okay. email address. So tell people how to contact you and. All right, you guys can go to xanadusupply.com. That's our full website. Also the uh, brand ambassador application is on there on the left tab. You can click on it, fill that out and send it right over. Then you've got the email. If you guys have any design request or don't see anything on the site that is in your size or is out of stock, send an email right over and we'll get that fixed for you. Also, there's our Instagram. You can follow us on Instagram. Same name on Facebook as well. And we do a bunch of giveaways and fun things through our social media. So just follow us on all those as well. So tell us about some of the giveaways. What should they look forward to on that? Or So even uh, last week, I actually just did a $25 gift card giveaway just for commenting under one of our new photos of our brand ambassadors. And I'll do stuff, you know, like when a gift card or when a product for doing X, Y, and Z things. So they just, they can always differ. And I like to keep people on their toes with the giveaways. There you go. Keep that interest peaked at all times. Yeah. Amen. Well, good. Well, Haley, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today. And, thank you um, so much. I'll just go ahead and tell everybody you're my niece. So I'm a little partial, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> but thank you for, for being on. And um, we'll definitely gonna be following your company for a long time and, and can't wait to see what comes from the ambassador program and also the, the launches you have coming up. It's going to be exciting. Amen. So. I can't wait to see where it goes as well. So thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. And that concludes our episode of Lux Life Discovered today. And thank you for joining us.